Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marwa and I teach creative people how to sell their art online. And in this video, I'm going to share with you guys a really cool free avatar making tool that you can use for print on demand, for social media, for digital downloads, and a bunch of other things. And this tool is called Evamaker or Evamake. Actually, the tool is called Evamaker, but the domain is Evamake, go figure. The avatars that you can create for free on Evamaker can be used for so many different things, such as social media icons, like creating an avatar of yourself and actually changing that avatar's facial expressions, and in my case, hair color, to make sure that it matches who you are, what you want to say, the content that you're uploading in that moment. You can also use the avatar maker to create really cool stickers, really cool clothing items, really cool mugs. You pretty much get it. Everything print on demand related or printable stickers. Use it as inspiration when you create some kind of coloring pages or even create digital assets that you sell inspired by what you made with Eva Maker. And this tool can also be a really good tool in case you witnessed a crime and you need to provide a description of the perpetrator who did that, especially if the perpetrator was some kind of cartoon. But I think a police sketch artist would do a much rather job, so I will focus this video, this tutorial, on the things that you can do with Eva Maker for your online business. So I made a list of a bunch of things that you can do with Eva Maker, but before we get to that list and actually see the applications of these avatars, in your online business, let's go to my computer and have a look on how you can actually create avatars for free with Avamaker or avamake.com. Okay, welcome to Avamaker. This is the main screen and what you see when you first go into Avamaker. I've actually been trying to find a way to make the dots in the background stop because they're really annoying, but I haven't so far. If someone found a way to make them stop, please let me know. What you guys have here are four different avatar styles and in each and every one of them you can also choose to go with a woman or with a man. So if I'm on the man one, let's change it to this style or this style or this style. And in every style you can create multiple variations based on the shape of the face, the shape of the hair, eyebrows, eyes, mouths, clothes, beards. And you can change the color of all of them. So let's say I'm choosing this yellow jacket. While I'm on the yellow jacket, I can change the color to red. Let's play around with it. Let's give him this mouth. Can I change the color of the mouth? No, it does nothing. Let's try this mouth. I don't think I can change the color of the mouth. Eyes, nice. Yeah, I can change the color of the eyes. Okay, that's cool. So we can match it to the shirt. Nice, and let's go with the hair. Ooh, I actually like this one. <laughs> this is actually kind of cute. And if you like this, all you have to do is click on download, and you can download this as PNG or as SVG. And when you download this in PNG, the size is very small. It's 800 by 800 pixels. But of course, there are tools to make it bigger, and there are ways to use this specific size. I'm going to go more into that after I finish this part of the physical tutorial of the screen. This button basically resets everything and you can randomize things to just look at something and go like, oh, this is almost what I want. So I can play around with that. Let's switch to female, for example, where we have different hairstyles. I really like those. I could just play with the female hairstyles for days. I kind of want to I don't know, download this to procreate and create different hair colors than what are available here. Let's choose a different top. And this one affects also the color of the hair. If you can see the hair and the top are changing together and it's like the bottom of the hair with the top, which makes no sense because the top of the hair is still this color. I'm gonna try and switch it to something different and now it changes that regardless of the top, but note that still this part is still purple. Um, it's not a perfect software and I can also change to a type of face and color of face. In this case, this color is correct, this color is not. I'm guessing there was a glitch here. Yep, there was a glitch. Well, it's a free tool, so we might as well expect some glitches. Not everything would be perfect, but yeah, this is definitely a weird thing to have happen. Changing the color of eyes. She kind of reminds me of Daria now. If anybody has seen that show and when I grew up, Daria was like always like introverted, depressed for everything. Yeah, this is more Daria. 
think Daria had red hair. Oh, this is so pretty. Anyway, I can play around with this for hours, but let's look at the other avatar styles like this one. Let's randomize it to show the features. This is actually kind of cute. And this as well. Female versions. Different shapes of the face, different shapes of the nose, different shape of the mouth, different hairstyles. We also have this style, which I think kind of more reminds me of video games, especially if anybody used to play the Hercules video game. This kind of style reminds me of that. Let's randomize a few options. This is really cool. Kind of want to see the full hoodie that they have there. And a man. I mean, this guy looks like he's going to go on an epic quest from the gods. And we have this avatar style, which I find to be really coloring friendly in terms of the fact that everything has these like thin outlines. I'm really thinking that everything here could be really nice for coloring pages. And I do know that you can create this kind of, let's call it result based on just changing everything to white and turning this into some kind of coloring page in a way, even though the mouth doesn't have the same outlines as everything else. But yeah, so far so good. Oh, this is pretty. I feel like I can play around with Evermaker for like an hour and just show the different features and the different things that you can do with it, especially when you have these four very different avatar styles but I really want to get back to me and actually show you how these avatars look when you do stuff to them for example print them on stickers print them on t-shirts dump them and procreate and do cool stuff with them or even dump them into night cafe sketch to image options so say goodbye to our random crying girl and let's get back to me so that was how to create avatars with Evermaker. I would love to know in the comments down below what was your favorite style? Mine, I think, is the cartoonish, the one that I kept going back to. But now we need to talk about the applications or the things that you can do with Evermaker. So if you want to do something with Evermaker, you have to take into account the original file size that you are downloading, which is 800 by 800 pixels. Granted, this is a PNG file with no background, so you either have to modify the file or find something to use that works with 800 by 800 pixels. For example, print on a man stickers. Yes, I've been playing around with this tool for a while now. Sorry for keeping it to myself, but I have used these avatars in Canva and added some text to them and they look really cute as stickers. So we have this girl here, coffee. And we have blue hair, don't care. I need to make one with purple. Actually, I actually have a t-shirt that says blue hair, don't care. And I wore it yesterday and people commented <laughs> that my hair is purple. And my slogan, I think, practice makes faster. Some of you know the other slogan of what does this button do, but practice makes faster is also something that I say frequently. And I actually created this design when I was blonde. I think I need to create a better avatar of myself right now. As I mentioned, I created these designs over on Canva on a canvas size that is 1300 by 1300 pixels using the original size of 800 by 800 pixels to be inside the photo. Because as you can see, it doesn't take over the entire thing. I'm not stretching this image to be 1300 by 1300 pixels. I'm just using the relevant part and adding some text. And actually, if we look at this, you see this, it's very small, right? But 1300 pixels is actually a large enough size to design some t-shirts. Yes, if you upload it to some kind of print-on-demand marketplace, it might tell you that the file is too small, but if you upload it to Printful and try to design a t-shirt, you'll find that the size 1300 by 1300 pixels is creating a DPI of 158, which is actually good enough. 1300 pixels on a t-shirt, very small size, and again, 158 dpi which is much lower than the 300 dpi that everybody keeps talking about and i don't expect you to take my word for it that it's gonna look good honestly i didn't even want to take printful's word for it i wanted to test out that t-shirt for myself which i did <laughs> and this is how this t-shirt looks in real life i feel like I, I need to like push the camera down so you guys can see exactly the quality of the printing but the quality of the printing has been amazing and it's super cool to see that 1300 pixels by 1300 pixels i literally needed nothing to do with this ever maker design in order to place it on a t-shirt i didn't need to use an upscaler a vectorizer or any of those to create this really cool print on a man t-shirt but what if you want to make something larger than a t-shirt or you need larger dpi settings 
for your finalized product. For that, you can use the Evermaker avatars that you've created, upload them to any upscaler, for example, the freemium upscaler of Big JPG, and create a larger file from this. If you're on the free version, it will upscale the image from 800 pixels by 800 pixels to 3600 pixels by 3600 pixels, which is a much, much larger size. It's times four, which is the limit of the free membership of Big JPG. I made a video about Big JPG as an upscaler, and I will leave a link to that video down below for you guys to check it out. Another thing that you can do with these cool avatars, and it's not to upscale them, it's more like to take these avatars and create them in your own unique style. So I don't know if you've noticed, but there is the style of my background, my beautiful Lama Tapestry, with all of these acrylic mess and lines and a bunch of other designs that I make in this style. I really like this style. It's a style that I learned from a Skillshare class and I actually made a full tutorial on this class and what I learned from it and how to use it and the brushes that I got from it. And I will leave a link to that video down below. But let me actually run you through this process when it comes to the avatar maker. For example, with this avatar that I used on Procreate. So I took it to my iPad. And the first thing that I do whenever I wanna create something new is that I basically take another layer, yellow layer and lower the opacity of it. That creates some kind of, some kind of graphical distance between me and what I'm making so I can see better the design that I'm making. I'm using the brush that I got from that Skillshare class and I'm using the color white so that I can see the differences between the actual image and what I'm drawing on a new layer, of course, and basically tracing all the outlines of this avatar. Once that process was done, I did an alpha lock on that layer to make sure that nothing will change in that layer other than the things I've already done on it, and then fill the layer with black, which means transforming the white outlines into black outlines outlines because that's more my style and what I want to do. The white was more for assistance. After I did that, all I have to do is start filling up the spaces with the actual colors of the design of the avatar, whether it was the jacket that she's wearing or the hair color that she has, and a little bit of brush strokes with darker colors or with brighter colors, brighter shades, in order to create this cartoonish effect of light and shadow. And now I have this new creation that is entirely my own, in my own style, and in a pretty, pretty big size, because my Procreate can create pretty big sizes. By the way, if you like this video so far or found this content useful, please hit the like button down below because every time you do that, believe it or not, it really does help my channel. Subscribe to my channel if you're not yet subscribed. And if you're watching this video before July 24th of 2024, you might wanna know that we have a contest running in our Facebook community to win one year free hosting and domain service. I will leave links down below to the group on Facebook and to the link where you can submit basically an answer of what is your small business or what is your business idea in order to win a free domain and hosting from Hostinger, which I find to be really, really cool to just have a free domain, a free service in the middle of this year. Back to our topic, which is Evermaker or evermake.com. I do want to say for all of you who have been thinking about the implications of using AI tools, do I have to disclose that these was made with AI? Actually, you don't because this was not made with AI. The Evermaker is more like an assembly tool. There is no AI work in place. It's pretty much like one of these games we played when we were little girls that we can switch in the color of a dress that a, someone was wearing, all these like stamps rolls, and I really want to get one of those right now. But it's kind of like these games where you basically switch out items like facial color and eyes and all that. There is no AI involved, so if you have to declare on a platform, for example, like Zazzle, that this was made using AI, you actually don't have to because this is not an AI tool. I feel like I've been getting the AI tool question on so many tools these days, and no, there are still tools that have nothing to do with AI. But while we are talking about an AI, a really cool thing that you can do with your Evermaker avatars is actually drop them on Night Cafe AI Art Generator with the sketch to art option. The sketch to art option basically takes the file that you upload and creates a design from that sketch. So one thing that you can do if you want to is download the images from Evermaker after creating a white image, basically trying to remove the color from everywhere, creating this avatar with white hair, with white skin, with a white t-shirt, and use that as a sketch base. Now, you cannot actually use it as is, 
because the sketch feature on Night Cafe doesn't work well with things that have no background. So I really recommend once you downloaded something that is 800 by 800 pixels, drop it on Canva on a white background and download it again in the same exact dimensions of 800 by 800 pixels and use that image as the source image for Night Cafe sketch to art option, which is how I took this little girl here and created actually really, really cool artwork. I just wrote the prompt beautiful woman with this image and I used the vibrant model option, the vibrant filter, and I got really, really, really cool results with the vibrant filter, with the color painting filter. And then I even described what kind of hair color I wanted. So I wanted her to have pink and yellow hair color. So that was kind of cool. And these results can either be the results that you're going to use later on for Procreate because they're much more stylish than the actual avatars created, or you can use them as is because you can make every image on Night Cafe be downloaded in 8,000 by 8,000 pixels. So to summarize the topic of the Eva Maker, you can do so many things with these avatars, whether it's for social media, whether it's for print on demand, whether it's for digital downloads. And there are so many other tools that can help you upscale these designs, recreate them in your own style, like Procreate, or even recreate them using AI. And if you like the option of using it with the Night Cafe AI, which is, yeah, sketch to image has been my obsession lately. I actually made a video about the sketch to image feature of Night Cafe, and I will leave a link to that video somewhere on the screen around here. But with that being said, that was it for me for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something new. And as usual, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!